All right, we got the Nerf fan versus Team Greninja. We got Rock versus Aiden here. Nope. Starting off with the classic SD. Robin charging Arc Thunder there. Chrono Plant going there and a shield with the up air. Side B. Robin, a very good matchup for Plant. Keeping him away. Chrono Plant too slow to close the distance. The Nair by Chrono Plant. Down air into the fair. Guarding with Fatui. Robin getting a jab up there. Rock not struggling to get back on stage here with that beautiful recovery Chrono Plant has. Struggling to get in against Robin here. Taking that present from the side B. Going for the Arc Thunder again. Getting that hard read. Down B getting that percent. There's an SD from Rock. Trying to go for that hard for, uh, forward smash read again. The arc fire into the forward air. Trying to go for another forward smash read again. Up and down, throwing the fair. Into the ups tilt. Into the jab, not connecting. Arc thunder, going for something crazy there. Going with the up throw. Chrono playing, charging the down B. Let's see how it rolls. Got the grab from Robin. That won't be enough with the back throw, though. Trying to go for the ledge guard. Chrono Plant easily recovering. Robin letting off. Ooh, on almost not recovering there. Both are pretty even percent. Going for the back throw. Nothing. Going for the hard force match read. Not working out for him. Arc fire. Is going to be able to get back on stage. There it is. Chrono Plant at 155. And there's the old arc thunder not killing. Going for the dash attack, down B. Very even game. One big going. Oh, and there's the forward air. Rock getting eliminated from this crew battle. Aiden taking the W. He will remain with one stock for the next match. Are we going to have problems? Retire the plan. We set up the score here. <laughs> we got our next challenger approaching. Let's see what the stage pick will be. Going to Kalos Pokemon League. Kalos with the boys. Let's see, we got Aiden coming back. Searching for his tag here. Pikachu. All right, and we are underway. Pikachu versus Robin. Pikachu able to close the gap here against Robin very quickly, so we will see how this matchup fares. Robin having to go down to one stop. All right, and we're Three, off to the races. Two, one, go. Now, all right. <laughs> he he immediately grabbed there into the arc fire. Aiden has a, Aiden has a, team, uh, has a long uphill battle, but will he be able to do it? Bring him up to 26% there. Robin has to at least get one stock off on it. Make this a very even crew battle here. 
Nice parry into the jab, bringing up to 38. Trying to use the quick attack there for maybe some cheeky percent. Not getting it. Down throw. Trying to get the forward smash read, he's shielding it. Back air, getting out of the through the arc fire. That book almost out of energy there. B2 at 75. Start of a jab, not getting much there. Quick attack getting up to 50 feet, uh, 58 percent into the up air, jabbing. Just on live. Taking a stretch break. Will Robin be able to get the stock? Make it good for his team. Quick attack, closing the gap too quick. Going for the down air there, trying to spike him. Nobody is going to land a hit so far uh, right at the end. Quick attack in. This quick attack just getting shielded. The Pikachu at least closing the gap, allowing, uh, not allowing Rob to use that magic, get the percent. Down smash. Right off the stage, Robin should be able to recover here. Unless that's Sparkle, and there's the spike. Aiden getting knocked out of this crew battle. It is Pika Pika versus U3000. Oh, love U3000. Oh, I get it. Didn't realize that before. Okay, so, so that's the remaining stock. So yeah. every time someone loses stock, just hit like minus or whatever. Okay. Alright. Alrighty. This is gonna go terrible or amazing. Pika Pika sitting down. Very good player. So cold in here. Go ahead, John. Uh, 3000 versus Pika Pika going with the Ganon here. Cold hand jobs. <laughs> All right, each of them having to take a stock in the beginning here at the start of this round of the crew battle. On battlefield, don't know who this stage really benefits. Warlock punch off the stage, and there's the side view on the stage. Alright, here's the countdown. And we're off to the races again. Let's see, we got an air from Ganon, classic Ganon dash attack. Pikachu trying to get these strings. Is he going to be able to keep Ganon in the air though? Into the down smash, trying to go for the up air, trying to get that hard read. Oh, is he going to be able to string him in the air? He's going, oh, and he's out of there. There's the quick attack, back into the, Ganon not able to get a hit in here. Getting stringed. There's the down tilt into the back, uh, back there. Ooh, and a thunder spike recovering from it. There's the forward smash. Is that it? Ganon able to recover. We're going to be able to see Ganon at least take one stack here. Oh, going for the Doria. Dash attack from Pikachu. Peak Pika. Still has a stock there. Missing dash attack. There's the F tilt. Going for a hard read with the door. Now the dash attack is going to kill. Oh, peek, peek, go. There we go. Alright. Technical difficulties there for a hot second. Doria! And that's going to kill. Mike's still literally just running in front of it. You win! You win if he get inside you! Pikachu having to keep, uh, love you 3000, having to keep his distance here. Pika Pika, trying to get the percent. Has to stay away from the ledge there. If he Ganon sides, it's all over. Pika Pika, takes this round. There's the Nair, going for the back air read there. Another Nair into the down tilt. Can we see, oh, going for the side view there. Not off ledge, so no Ganon side. But. There's the down tail. Is Peak 2 able to recover? Obviously. Oh no. Trying to go for something cheeky there. Both at high percent. One big doink and it's all over. There's the up smash. Going for the thunder. And there's the nair and it is all over for Love You 3000.
And they're down to nine stocks. T pass up to the plate. Is he going to play his signature pack now? Pika Pika holding it out for his team with one stock left. However, Gannon is dangerous with one stock because if he gets that rage, it is all over from there. What will we see? What counterpick will we see? All righty. Singles action will start here soon, ladies and gentlemen, at LTX7 on the D&D uh, Smash Twitch channel. What? I, uh, Pad. Is he going to pick his signature Pac-Man? Let's see it. And there it is. Gandalf versus Pac-Man. Pika Pika versus T-Pad. This will be an interesting matchup to say the least. I do not know much about Pac-Man, so excuse my lack of knowledge here. Two stocks each. Well, one stock for Pika Pika here. And there it is. All right, we'll get the countdown here in a minute. Three, two, one, go! All right, and we are off to the races again. Packing with the Nair, going for the jab. Down throw with the Gen, going into the forward air. Is he gonna be able to chain him? Nope, dash attack from Pac-Man. Going for the side view there. Three hits, and he is already up to 69%. Bouncing off ledge. There's the F-Tilt. Missing that. Going for the grab, T-pad, down a percent here. Will he be able to come back? Oh, and there it is! The up tilt, taking out T-pad. The down B. Again, and trying to get out of that corner there with the fire hydrant. He just needs to take one stock here. Bring it down to 8-10 for his team. Again, almost at kill percent. Going. One for Doria and 129. That was almost it. Going to use the platform to get back to the stage here. Oh, for the down with the fire hydrant, they're not hitting because of invincibility. He's going to be able to get back to stage. One for the two frame, not hitting it. There's the fair. Oh, that's not gonna kill him either. 148. Ganon has rage. One big hit, and T-Pad is out of here, losing a stock for his team. And there's the Nair, and that's not it. Very close. Is T-Pad gonna be able to come back here? There's the grab in the back throw. Pika Pika is out of here. See this back throw one last time. Oh, that was the up tilt. There it was. Absolutely annihilating T pad. Who's T pad's next challenger? Suez coming on. Greninja Man, I know that much. These two are top players here at LTX. See where they go. All right, FD Classic. All right, is he gonna pick? T pad picking the. Pac-Man that clutched him the game last time. And there's the Greninja. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, seven minutes time, sorry. I'm gone. Losing stocks here. And there it is. Give me a 
Give me it. I want to see it. All right. I want to see it. I want to see it. Two. One. Yeah. And we're going. Starting off with a dash attack here from the back man. Jabbing. Again, the fairs. Gonna do this with nice 43%. Is he gonna be able to. Oh, almost with the gimp there. Keeping him off ledge. There's F smash. Dash attack. Energy able to close the gap so quickly. Pac Man more of a play the distance character. There's the up air into the jab lock. Into the F. Uh, F air. Side B running through. There's an air from the Greninja. T pad not able to get much percent here. Is this going to be. Yeah, that's an SD. Alright, T pad out of here. Next to the chair here. <laughs> Team Kreninja in the lead here in this crew battle. <laughs> Let's see an on it pick. Going to PS2 here. Seeing the pockets, this is getting serious. Plunk. There's the Swizz. With the Pikachu pick. Well, Electric Tripes are good against Water types, but is he going to be able to pull it out here? Both, I believe, with two stops. And let's get this underway. Countdown, I believe, here. Alright, we are back onto the races. Look at Tag Trip. Again, trying to close the gap. These two are very fast characters here. All matters on who can get their strings. There it is. Fun Ooh, getting a nice thunder there. Almost asking. There's the up air. Um, Swiss. Dash tag into the F. Oh, uh, the fair. These two playing footsies with each other for a hot minute. There's that smash for Pikachu. Not landing it. Getting knocked off stage. Is he going to be able to get back on stage and maintain stage control? There's the down throw. And you're going for the down throw there to set up the fair. Ooh, missing the punish there. Bring it back. There's the Nair going for the up smash, not landing it. In the last hitbox of down air. Going for the hard read forward smash, not landing that either. These two very high percent. There's the down smash. Not doing much. Not going to off stage. But he's going to be able to come back with the Nair. Two kill moves above 100%. Here's the Nair. Back throw. Not going to kill. Red lightning. Proper DI will save him though. There's the Nair. Fair dash attack, I believe, will kill here. But the Nair from the Greninja. Keep him alive, and there's the back tilt. Alright, Spark Joel. Getting back on ledge. These two. But still has a chance to bring it back here. Just has to land some sort of kill move on this Pikachu. Pikachu does, of course, have rage. There's the Nair. Up there, keeping him up in the air. Will Greninja be able to string him? Get up attack, landing, water to the There it is. Getting him off the ledge there. And there's the up throw, and that is going to kill. It was only taking 55%. Will Funk be able to finish him off here? Shadow sneaking away. There's a dash tag into the up air. Getting these nice strings. 
trying to get the hard reports match. Not gonna land it. Going for the nair there though. Pichu with the forward, uh, forward and the down tilt in the back air. Up throw, not doing much. Going up for the up tilt. And then there, Shadow Sneak. Not gonna land it. There's the down air from the Pikachu. In the forward smash. Both on one stock. And there's the jab up. Uh, yeah, for the forward smash. 100% taking it. And Plump taking it for his team. So I didn't see five. He almost lived. Alright, the Nerf fam with five stocks left. Team Greninja with eight. Uh, attention, Senators. I am going to be reading off the entire um, attendance list right now, so we do not need your name to come up to me. All right, we got Clunk versus right, Spyro. Spyro uh, playing the puff. Don't hear your name, you're not in the bracket. Can't show that enough. Okay, I got Pika Pika, Kreninja, Dom, Croc, All right. Cliff, These two are going to, of course, bring him down. Abby, well, Clunk Marathon, one stock, Swim, Spyro two. Erotic, Ricky, Blurb, Kabe, Spyro, Clunko, Snorlax, J64, Alright, they're starting. My boy, Killer Queen, GPS, Pivot, uh, Dark, Smooth, Team Pad, Rocks, Black, Big Bear, and Big Bear, Jacob. Big Bear, 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 Big and there's the thing into the rest. That's it for Klunk. Let's go, Rest. Bringing it down four stocks for the Nerf fam, eight stocks for Team Kreninja. Friends are anchor. Friends are anchor. For the Nerf fan, says Nerf fan. Bringing it up. Fam has to bring it back for his team here. Will he be able to do it? Oh. And there it is for the Nerf Fam. be able to bring it back for his team here. Right up against Spyro. Spyro picking Jigglypuff. Nerfan picking Dark Hero Trump. There's the fist, uh, fist bump of respect. It's bound to be a good match. Let's see it. We are starting singles action here soon, ladies and gentlemen. 2-2 two, two crew battle, let's see it. All right, and they're starting. Chalk switching to speed here. Making him a lot quicker, lowering his jump. Height. There's the Nair. Into the F tilt, down tilt. Chalk with so much range, it's gonna be hard for Jigglypuff to get in here. But if Jigglypuff takes him off stage and Chalk does not have his jump, that is it. The boy with Monado. Ooh, almost uh, hitting the down air there. That would have been catastrophic. Spiral really having to get in here to get this percent off. There's the back air. Jump is gone. Barely making it back. Back air from the shawl. 
Marifan on the defensive, there he goes, switching it off to the smash, bringing it right on the offensive here. Shulk, such a versatile and dangerous character. Switch up his style so quick. Trying to neutral their off edge, Jug uh, Jigglypuff. Up in the air, dangerous spot, especially for such a light character. Shulk with some powerful and fast smash attacks. There's the bear, trying to keep him away. Shulk's longest move, I believe. There's the air slash again. Not connecting with that second hit, so not gonna send him flying. With the uh, forward throw into the jump from Shulk. My heart is racing to see who gets this first kill here. Is that it? That's it for Nerfan. Losing a stock. There's the forward throw into Buster. Trying to get this quick percent right on the Spyro. He's back there. If he hits a sing here, it's all over for the Nerf fam. Bringing him right up. Allowing him to recover. And, oh, very close. 85% here, though, for Nerf fan. Will he be able to pull back? And that's it. Nerf fan is out of here. The Nerf fan has fallen. The Nerf fan has fallen. For the Nerf fan has fallen. Let's go, Greg. One more. Petition to give Greg seven stops. Will he be able to pull it back? I believe his name is Greg. Let's see it, two stocks to eight. Let's see if someone can make a monster comeback here. <laughs> Spiral with the Jigglypuff, going in. DPS. Oh, nope, wrong tag, oops. Oh no, right tag, going to Smashville. All right, GPS, who's he picking? Pokemon Trainer versus Jigglypuff. Three Pokemon versus one. All righty, I believe. I believe. Uh... All right. Seven stocks to two. Let's go. All right, they're starting now. No more countdown. Getting into the last match here. There's the oh, into the up air, and there's the rest. That's not going to be enough to kill Squirtle though. Squirtle getting six percent. Is he going to hit another rest? GPS giving him a bigger target here at 108 and. Making it back on, GPS. And there's the back air. Bringing it down to one last stock, will GPS bring it back one to seven. The jab connecting, spiral only at 22% here though. There's the fair, double fair. Ivy Sornair into Razor Relief. There's the jab, 41%. To our even. However, ooh, going for the hard read, not getting it. Razor Leaf into fair, into Razor Leaf. Going for the down air, not hitting it. Into the bear. What's he gonna follow up with? Getting forward aired by Jigglypuff. Charizard switch. He hits him with the flare blitz. I believe Jigglypuff is very close to dead. Alright. GPS bringing it back, everyone popping off. Spyro has fallen. The real question is, is who is up next for Team Kreninja? Got this, got this. Only six more. Six stocks versus one. Killer Queen up next. DDD main. People popping off for GPS. They want him to make the comeback. Will he be able to do it? Again, Killer Queen, a DDD player. Oh. 
we'll see. There's FD. Classic FD. And there it is, Pokemon Trainer. GPS versus K Queen picking the DDD. Could this be the final round of the crew battle? Killer Queen known for her traps here at LTS. There's the SDs. All right. Starting off with the Squirtle. And there's the countdown. Let's start it. There's the Nair from King DDD or K Queen. Jabbing them up to 25. And there come the Gordos. Squirtle able to close the gap, but getting caught. Oh, missing the up air there. What's in the back air? Let Squirtle get the fares into the neutral air by Ivysaur. Getting the Razor Leaf. Applying, uh, GPS is applying the pressure here. More Razor Leaf. DDD throwing it right back. There's the Gordo, bringing him up to 100%. Will GPS be able to go in for the rocket hammer there? Something saucy. F tilt. Playing the trap, Gordo. Going for the nair into the down tilt. Classic DDD. Who's getting sauced up? There's the, uh, the stomp into the up air. Gordo. Into the bear. Another Gordo. Full send. And there's the dash attack. And the nerf fam has fallen. Team Greninja is the winner of the crew battle here, and I believe we are starting singles action at any moment now. LTX, apparently people want to end LTX with the crew battle. Team Greninja winning, Killer Queen picking up the victory. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. We will be uh, back shortly. As soon as Don announces the teams or the bracket here with the giant ass megaphone. You want to hop on, or are you just getting water? Yeah. Alrighty.